Hello and welcome to uh, Fitness Coaching. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about a very important concept called Delta Hedging. Now Delta Hedging is a risk neutral strategy uh, commonly deployed by a lot of option traders. So basically uh, what Delta Hedging does is it neutralizes the risk because uh, when, you, when, when the traders take an offsetting position, I'll explain this to you with an example because that's how it's actually better to understand. So let's say that uh, you know there is a there is a call option which has an exercise price of let's say thousand dollars. The delta currently is 0. 0.6, and the current market price of the stock is nine fifty. Now, what uh, the delta means is if the delta is 0. 0.6, it actually means that for a one dollar change in the stock price the option premium is expected to change by 60 cents. That's what 0. 0.6 means. And that is also equal to the number of shares that you require to own divided by the number of options. And that will be, let's say if I have a lot of 100,000 options, then that means I would probably need to buy 60,000 shares or sell 60,000 shares, depending upon what the offsetting position is, to be able to be risk neutral by deploying the uh, delta H strategy. Now, let's say that the stock price increases by $1. Then if I, let's say I have, I have bought uh, these call options, 100,000 call options, and uh, the offsetting position would therefore be, therefore be going uh, short or making a short sell position on 60,000 shares. And if the stock price increases by $1, which means I will be, uh, the trader would be having a loss of $60,000, 60,000 shares into $1 each, $60,000 on the short sell position. But since the uh, share price has increased by one, the call position would uh, increase by also $60,000. How? 100,000 options into 0. 0.6. How 0. 0.6? Because delta 0. 0.6 means that if the stock price increases by $1, the option price would increase by 60 cents. So 100,000 options into 0. 0.6 is $60,000. So the loss that the trader has incurred on the uh, short sell position has been neutralized by the gain on the call position. And hence, the net effect is zero. This is exactly what is done in case of a delta hedge. Now, there is a very great example on the, which is explained in the uh, book by John C. Hull uh, about futures and options. And what I have done is I have plotted those numbers here on Excel. So if you look at the black scholes model, the black scholes model first computes D1 and D2, and then ND1 and ND2, and then the price of the call option. Now, let's say there is a uh, option price of, um, you know, there is a call option with an exercise price of 50. Then what we would do is, uh, we will first compute, I have broken up the black scholes models in three parts, A, B, and C. A is log normal spot price by exercise price. B is risk-free rate plus half of variance into time period. And C is the standard deviation of the stock into the square root of time period. Mind you, we have taken a volatility of 20% and a risk-free rate of 5% as assumed by John C. Hull in his book. Now, D1 will therefore be A plus B by C, log normal spot by exercise plus risk-free rate plus half of variance for time period. Uh, that is your D1 and ND1 is nothing but the probability. So norm dot S dot dist basically tells you the probability of the option to be in the money D2 is uh, basically your probability of the option to be exercised. Now, in this case, that is negative because if you see, the stock price is below the exercise price. So it's, that's why your D2 is negative and we get ND2. 
and once you you can use the put call parity function to price the call option so that is the spot price into nd1 minus present value of the exercise price into nd2 and you will see that the call option is currently priced at two dollars and forty cents now what are the uh, the example states is there are 20 weeks and these are the stock prices i have computed the delta at every stage delta mind you is nd1 now, if there is a delta of 0.522, since we are going short on the call options, we will need to take an offsetting position in the stock, which is buying these shares. And this is your total cost. And I have done this for all. Now, in the next case, what happens is on the next week, the stock price falls. So the delta obviously comes down because the delta will increase only when the delta starts increasing towards the maturity. That's when the... Uh, delta becomes uh, close to one in case the option obviously expires uh, in the money. And uh, since your delta has decreased, therefore we will need to sell these many shares because we need to own these many shares. So 50 to 200 minus 6,400 would be the delta uh, risk neutral strategy of owning 45,800 shares to be able to compensate between the position on the options and the position on the shares. And this way, the entire calculation is done. Two things that you need to know in case of Delta hedging strategy is that the Delta hedging aims to keep the financial position unchanged or as minimal as possible. And that you can see that if you take any particular week, let's say week nine, the on the in the week nine, the option price is 4.14 again i have applied black scores model here the initial call price was 2.40 dollars it has gone up to 4.14 dollars which means it is a gain of 1.74 dollars on the option and since the trader has gone short on the options there is a loss of uh, 1.74 dollars per option into 100,000 options so that's the loss on the call position the cost delta, which is basically to continuously rebalance the portfolio to make it, to, you know, by applying delta hedging, has gone up from 2557 to 3973. So that is the uh, delta in terms of the cost. But there has also been a share appreciation. How has there been a share appreciation? Because in week nine, we are effectively owning 78,700 shares and that is 53 each. So this is what we own, and that is what is given in the this figure. You can actually match from the example that is given in uh, John C. Hull. And this minus your initial cost of 25, 57, 800, 16, 13, 300 is the appreciation in the price. So if you sum it all up, this is your net position. Now it will be slightly different from what is done in the John C. Hull because what the gentleman has done, he's actually rounded off these uh, numbers to thousands and that is what has created this difference. At the end, you will see that the option is expiring in the money. So the delta has become close to one. And obviously if the option is exercised, he will get, I mean, the, the, uh, the hedger is going to receive $100,000 into 50 and the cumulative cost is $51.95. So the cost of hedge comes to be $195.197,000. So this, my dear friends, was all about delta hedging and how delta hedging is a risk neutral strategy which is deployed by option traders to be able to minimize their exposures to the volatility that exists. Thank you very much.